yo what's going on man this is your boy super mario you're in the yo with your boy man today what we'll be checking out is a core player that consists of able to lie devices underneath the hood now this particular core player um especially for my ableton users out there that are diehard users and whatnot i think you'll like this because number one is simple very very simple controls um and whatnot uh also um you can compose really really quick with this and uh, get instant inspiration off of this core player right here as well not to mention that when you're playing around with this particular core player um you can always be rest assured that uh your core progressions are going to be on point there's really nothing that's going to be off of it because it's fail proof whatnot man and the core player that we are talking about is the hack okay um by phil spicer now this particular tool i came across on a social media ad and i thought it would be really really cool to share with you guys and uh you know what I'm saying give you an insight on what the hack can do and what it can do for your productions as well man so without further ado let's go ahead over to able to live and check out the hack from phil spicer all right so right now we're in able to live so basically uh we have the hack um able to live device down here at the bottom left of the screen and also we have a midi monitor right here in the middle so we can kind of pay attention to what's going on uh, with the chords and everything like that uh, while we're doing a demonstration okay all right so uh, let's talk about the hack and you know saying how it's broken up into three sections really really simple really 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 easy and stuff like that all right so this section right here okay uh, let, me, let me draw that for y'all so y'all don't get lost this section right here is basically where you will choose your key that you're working in in your composition project or session okay so if you're working in the key of e and you got all your auto tune and your melodyne in the key of e make sure you choose the key of e and all you have to do is just press on these play icons and i will definitely choose what key you're working in let's say you want to work in the key of f go ahead and just click that play icon and now you're in the key of f now that's going to set up this whole player for you so all you have to do is just press on one key on your keyboard and you don't have to worry about anything okay all right cool deal so now once you do that um you're going to go ahead and transition over to this middle column which is the chord section or where you set up and choose your chord progressions um or whatnot uh, so let's say for instance you want to play in i don't know uh neo soul major okay and it's already chosen for us um you could choose here 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 or here you know what i'm saying same process if you want to choose a certain chord progression um make sure you go ahead and choose or should i say click on the uh the play button and it, when it lights up white you'll know that you clicked on the right one for you so in this case we chose neo soul major okay and then this last section is basically the transpose section now this section um is pretty cool uh what it'll do is it'll take your key range that you're playing on your keyboard and move it up by octaves or move it down an octave okay um but for right now it's just gonna play what's given okay um now one caveat to the chord and how it works is is that your octave key range on your keyboard for each octave on the keyboard is the same key range if that makes any sense so if you all go all the way down to like uh c0 and you want to go all the way up to g3 and stuff like that each octave is going to be the same key range or played in the same key so in essence to put that in layman's term is that um on one octave you're playing with your left hand you're pressing on one key on the keyboard and you're playing one chord progression and then on a higher octave with your right hand you're pressing on another key and you're playing another key progression in a different note range and stuff like that but it is still in the same key range so you're not gonna you know saying be playing something totally different you're playing the same octave key range but it's just laid out multiple times on your entire keyboard um and spread out across that that way you know saying you can blend 
different chord progressions that's given to you and make something real fire. So let me give you a live demonstration of that. Okay, so right now uh, I'm gonna play in the key range on my keyboard starting at C0 as the MIDI note, okay? All right, so here we go. Pay attention to the MIDI monitor as well. All right, so that is the C key that I'm playing on the keyboard. Now I'm gonna go right here, take my right hand and I'm gonna go one octave, two octaves up on the keyboard. Uh, I'm working on a 37 key uh, key controller. So what I'm gonna do is skip one octave and go up to the third octave, okay? And it should be C2, all right? Now I'm gonna play that. <laughs> And you'll notice on the mini monitor, it's the same uh, chord, okay? And I wish I had a camera to show you guys, but I'm playing them same thing or whatnot. It's the same uh, key range, just different places on the keyboard, okay? Now, I'm going to play um, C, and then with my right hand, I'm going to go up to the other octave and play G, and then I'm going to blend them together. So if you know your chords and you can just kind of fumble around and get something that you like or whatnot, and you can play two different uh, key progressions at the same time. I think that's really, really cool that they implemented that, um, you know, saying on this particular device, uh, it allows you to, you know, saying not just play one chord progression. Um, it allow you to play two chord progressions to get a lush sound. Check this out. So I was playing two chord progressions, but really, all in all, I was playing C with this finger on the keyboard, and I was playing E with this finger on the keyboard in two different places or octaves on the keyboard or whatnot, man. Um, so what we're going to do now is uh, get rid of that MIDI monitor. Now what we're going to do is uh, try to play a little chord here. But before we do, uh, let's go ahead and get a little um, drums um, started here. We're going to play those keyboard uh, chord progressions and I'll uh, see what we can come up with. But what we're going to do is uh, get out of Neo Soul Major and choose something more minor. Just like that. So now if you want to record that, all you have to do is just hit the record button and play your thing. All right, cool deal. So that's it right there, man. So once you hit play back, uh, you know, saying you could choose uh, where you want to go for as your different composition. Uh, so let's say you want to take it from uh, this loop right here at nine. <laughs> So you like that, go ahead and just trim it up. And then you have the rest of the access uh, to the chords that you played uh, on the back end and on the front end of this particular loop right here. All right, cool, there. So there it is right there, man. 
we got a lead sound with the chord um we put some drums to it and bam there it is right there man if we was to run this in real time it probably would have taken you only what five ten minutes to come up with something uh at least the beat starter uh, that way you can have your artist or yourself go ahead and write those lyrics down and stuff like that man so make sure you go ahead and check out the hack um you know what I'm saying a very 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 awesome uh core player um that utilizes ableton live's devices and stuff like that i'll make sure i drop a link in the description so you can definitely check it out all right so there you have it right there man that was the hack by phil spicer uh definitely a great tool to come up with different chord progressions and uh I'll spark up some instant inspiration for your compositions and your beats and your projects and your sessions and whatnot man um if you like it man go ahead and check it out at fieldspicer.com i have a link in the description uh, so you guys can go check out this particular tool right here uh it's definitely awesome especially if you're able to live users i think you'll definitely definitely have use for it as well man hey if you made it to this point right here in this video right here man go ahead and do your boy a favor and give me a thumbs up uh, like this video right here and also subscribe to this channel where you get all of your music production uh, content right here uh, on this learning channel right here man uh, i just want to say thank you for all my viewers for watching and as always man stay creative out there keep your head on the swivel until next time man this has been your boy super mario you have been in the yo with your boy man until next time man peace